in the nursery. Come to see what's going on. We got some of everything growing. These things right here needs to come up. The radish. We even got cashews falling all over the place. So I guess I'll pick them up. They are all over the tree, guys. And I come out here to pick up this with some tomatoes, more bitter tomatoes, eggplant, and some hot pepper. Bonnet peppers, guys. So let me pick up these cashews because around here you can get some money off these dying. Oh, look at that one. There's a couple of them here. I'm, I don't know if I want to take them and eat them or what, but they're growing all over the place. If you take, I think you take these things off right here and you fill them up in a big rice bag, they say. I don't know how it goes, but I think that's the way it is. And you get money off the shelves. They say selling to the others, but we want to open them ourselves. I think they cook them ourselves. They said they was cooking them. We shall see, let's see. But I'll pick these up. I don't think the fruit any more good. But they fall every day. Every day they're all over the ground. And they're all over the tree. Last year we didn't have this many. And they just exploded this year. So we're gonna enjoy it. I know when I take one off the tree, it's so sweet. These, we have the miniature ones. And then look at the butterfly. Hey, Lizzie, y'all see that lizard there? Hey, Lizzie, I see you. But anywho, I'm here. They are really exploding. Let, goes, let me go. I don't want to step on all these. We got some tomatoes in the ground. There's a big one in the tree, guys. Wow, it's a lot over here. I didn't know they had exploded this much. They're all over the place. Let's see. These are carrots. There's a big one up there. I think I'm going to take it. <laughs> Look how big that one is, guys. Let me see if you can see. That's a big one. It's juicy. I think I'll take you. There's more growing. So this one is really big. <laughs> That's a real big one. I'm gonna eat that one before Raheem them gets it. You know the workers come in. They were all today because someone died in the uh, village. They say and they had a funeral, a burial. And, they were all coming back tomorrow, they say. I have to come over here and see what's going on with these here carrots. I see some big ones in here. I'm gonna see if I can dig up some. It's time to bring up these here little crazy onions. Cut them off and put them back in. These dogs are following me, guys. What's up there, girl? What up there, Kalette? Kalette! <laughs> I saw one over here. You're eating the apples too? I won't mess with these. I'll let them get bigger. But all the trees that we have in the, in here, in the nursery. What are you eating, girl? And they have, um, not okra, cashew apples on them. They call these the dwarf trees. Someone giving us these trees long time ago. And they are really working it for us. But I'm gonna eat you. That's a big one. I'm telling you guys, it's not as hard as a, um, there's a dog over there at the gate. I didn't know you was over there. We got onions everywhere. There's a, um, they are so sweet. It's not like a hard, hard, the flesh is very soft. Inside, it's really juicy. Yeah, it's good. But anywho, these are not all the apple or cashews that we have. We have more, I believe, down. Rick planted them all over to the back. He did a great job putting them out here. First, this last year we thought we were gonna lose this one. It, it was leaning, but it came back really well and it's multiplied. So it's doing great. I'm gonna pick up these two things and take them to the back. All we got, guys. Well, I'm here in the green garden, guys. In my greens, I have given it some fertilizer, uh, liquid fertilizer, and they are coming back. I made me some liquid tea over the weekend. And I got to stir it up. I put some on here earlier. Got some in the back. My greens looking a lot better, though. Hopefully they get bigger, and I do have some I have planted by the house. 
and I picked up me a few things. See some big old onions and some bell peppers, bearded tomatoes, and some pepes. All of this, it looks great, guys. What are those in there? Nothing? I don't think they put anything on this one. No, they didn't. But those are still standing. Yeah, those peppers. Huh? Yeah, the um, irrigation system is doing its due, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Standing and doing well. Coming in. I think these are tomatoes over here. All over here is tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes we have. I didn't know it was that many that we planted. And over here is peppers, and there will be some going to the back. They will be planted. Huh? They, did, they didn't plant them yet. I know, they're gonna put them all in. They want, I wanted them to get this first. We still have, they had some planted over here where the cabbages used to be, and we got, excuse me, the ground nuts. They're doing well. I see flowers coming on here. So, I guess everybody come back tomorrow. We will get all of this water. I will, I'm just anxious to see, dig in there and see where the peanuts at. Mm, they all in here, guys. Peanuts. Galores of peanuts. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plots. The rest is peppers. We still got a lot of peppers over there in the nursery. Got some up front nursery as well so it's working its way up that's all like i can say we got a papaya did you get the papaya in the back of the house they yellow oh uh, yeah we got some what is it why you don't want that tree to do what with it Oh, the rope, yeah. You know that's a Bible tree, ain't it? That tree gonna get big. It's gonna be just like that one right there. Hey, all the way, if you let it. I'm sure. Sorry, guys, if I'm hurting your eyes, but... Let me get my butt back in the house. It's in the evening time, 6 o'clock. What are you doing down here scratching, stinky dog? You won't take the medicine. I have to force her to take the medicine, huh? Huh? Yeah. You know, bubble tree don't need that much water. Yeah, most of all of them have grown. It really looks nice. I'm so impressed with this garden now, guys. I just wanted to go all the way. I need me a cellar to put the stuff in. I need uh, a nursery. These pineapples, guys, they have really, this one, if I accidentally knock it over and stuff, I can eat it right now. <laughs> hey, we got, you know flowers growing on the strawberries again. They're coming back, cause she moved them around, so. Enjoy, I mean, um, five two. You saw this pineapple? It's looking good. If I accidentally knock it over, it could be eaten. No, I'm just joking. Y'all look at that. That's a beauty right there. <laughs> yeah. I go one. We got about what, 10? That's one. Yeah, I think he said nine. Dad said 11. I haven't counted. I go one there. Our eggplants are coming back. Yay. Something had got on them. I put some neem oil on it. That's one there. It's the one on the end down there, too. Yes. They can't. Well, hell, they've been in here for so long. It should. It's about time for you to bring out these pineapples. I remember the one we had on the roof. It was so sweet. And I'm sure these are going to be sweet as well. You got the fire right there? Yeah, it's warm. <laughs> Y'all see that? Lonely, lonely, but fight. It's time for some more to get up here. 
Yeah. There's another tree on the Are we not in the season yet for it? No. Well, it's always papaya. Oh, they just grow every, they got one right here. That baby one, it's a little bitty one. Hey, there's a big old eggplant. Eggplant. Right there. They coming back after I sprayed them. Go ahead and pull it. You don't eat them? This I'm must be the, the male then. Huh? Is this the girl or the male? You sure? I don't know. I thought they said the, the male don't grow. I think all papayas bear. I'm not sure. Yep, we got them growing. To even the uh, lemongrass is growing back. I'm ready to try these Stearns sugar cane. Squeeze that juice out of it. Well, I guess I get myself in the house, guys. I had to come out and pick out some things. And uh, keep that dream alive, guys. Sometimes you get down, you have to get out there and keep it going. And that's what I did. And all this stuff that I pulled up over the weekend last week, it's like it's trying to come back. These watercress, they grow so fast. And these pineapples are going to be so good when I pull them. I'll tell you, especially this one. This is the biggest one we have. It's just time for me to eat, eat pineapple. As my grandma, my grandson used to say, eat, eat, grandma, eat, eat. Trying to eat you. Look at this dog. You better be lucky ain't no plants in there. Miss Thing. Dirty Red. What are you doing? You just love laying on the stuff, don't you? Hmm? What's up, girl? What's up? What's up? You're going to act silly now, right? Yeah, what's up, mama? What's up? Hey, little fat stanky butt. Stanky butt, don't you get on me. Look at you, chunky butt. No passion fruits yet, but they're coming back. Okay. Y'all ready to go in the house and bark all night? This one just bark, bark, bark. See, anything moves, she goes to barking. But I guess that's what you're supposed to do, right, girl? Okay. Let me hear myself in the house. Are you going in the house, Raheem? You could have took this wagon that way. <laughs> Nothing, I got it. <laughs> it's right here. Yeah, I guess I could have said something, right? No, I'm finished. I just was getting some little things for the house. I'm not going to take it all. We have another guest coming tomorrow, so. No, well, uh, sometimes I do. <laughs> but today I didn't. I guess he was busy, and I think he was going somewhere else. He didn't need anything. Yeah, see the watercress, guys? I was supposed to take these up. I'm yeah, a bag full. I get you. <laughs> I got you, son. Well, maybe I'll get the, the guests tomorrow a bag full. We shall see. What is she doing? <laughs> she going across. She all right. She just bugging everything. Go sit her little fat self down. But anywho, guys, let me get myself off of here. We got papayas everywhere in the garden. That's what Mr. Rick wanted. And what Mr. Rick want, he gets. Because I going to ha make it happen. If he doesn't. Huh? It don't matter who brought him. He said his friends brought him. But Mr. Rick and them planted, right? Okay, you and Pa Dollar. Well, whatever Rick want, he gets. Whether your friend or whom brought it here, we got it done. You made it happen. Thank you. Right. <laughs> You're not pulling off anything, or is the freezer not on? No. The other guy's supposed to brought the freezer here today. He gonna text me and show me. I got the freezer. It ain't here. Just, just hit it hard. Why don't you go back that way and do it? Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. Let me walk my tail on back here. I got to one day get over here to this water. I need some salt. <laughs> yeah, we sure see. That's what I used to do. You ran out of salt? 
Yeah, I got some. No, I still have a bucket full. Maybe oh, two bucket full. You still got some? Yeah, I have a whole bucket. I got two. One in the bathroom and one in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, well, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you enjoyed your bag show. Y'all see my nursery over there? Look at them tomatoes. No, these are peppers. I'm sorry. All those peppers over there. They planted and we still have more in the nursery. Y'all see that? I didn't know it was going to be that many. I don't know what we're going to do with it. If I had someone, I would give them to those and they could put it in their garden. So if anybody who needs some that's here in the Gambia and you want some peppers, you are welcome to have some. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next bag beautiful video. Love you, my bag family. It's so